Hi, Linda Bowden here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Tomorrow is an exciting day as we do our second release to our biggest sell of the year celebration. And today, I am just here to share a lot of samples with that new second release uh, product. As a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, we swap cards back and forth. We design one card and then we send it to a coordinator of the swap and they swap it out with a lot of different ideas. So today I am just going to share um, the recent swap I did. I was in two different swaps and at the end of this video I will give credit to all the ones who took part in this swap. But what I want to do, this is a great way for me to show you all five new items that will be released um, with Stampin' Up's second release. I bought the beautiful flowering foil specialty paper and that is the first thing that I'm going to show you are the cards that I received um, using that product. This product um, is a designer series paper. It's a foil specialty paper. There's roll, rose gold and silver uh, foil designs in them, um, which makes the projects um, just shine. Um, the back side of the paper is just plain white. It's just the front that is uh, printed. And again, it's in rose gold and silver foil. So here's the first card I want to show you. Isn't that pretty? It's just uh, coloring it in and bringing out that um, pretty peacock um, color. I would say this person probably used a sponge to um, color um, her card. Here's another one. It also uses a second product that is going to be released in the second release and that's the tags in blue and we'll talk more about that later on. But she used um, the foil paper in the back and then she embossed in the copper. So very pretty. Here's another one using both um, or two of the designs of the foil paper. It's a creative fold, a joy fold card. So very pretty, um, just done in the black and white um, with that copper. Here's another one I'm using that um, purple posy and love the way they colored it in. Um, I'm sure they probably used, I'm looking at it and I think they probably either brayered it or sponged it, not too sure which, but then maybe they went in and highlighted with their blends. Not positive on that, but it also is a creative fold. Love that design. Here's another one done in pretty pink. Um, again, giving that flower accent using, um, I believe that's Tags and Bloom also. The Tags and Bloom matches um, the Label Me Fancy Punch and the Label Me Lovely Punch, which is a product in the mini catalog. Love it done in the pink. And I... Um, Looks like she took the foil um, background and then colored in that designer series paper. Or maybe, let's look here, maybe she put vellum over top. She did. So she took the foil and put a vellum over top. So that gives it a different look. Takes away the shine, but it's still from that same... Um, paper, which is the flowering foil specialty paper. Again, you can earn this paper with a $50 order starting tomorrow at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 o'clock Mountain Time, and this will be for a limited um, time or till March 31st, whatever supplies run. Here's another beautiful card. Um, they uh, actually colored that in. Again, I am going to list all the demonstrators' names at the end of this video who took part in this swap um, so I can give credit to all these people. Um, and here it is done again. Now, I have been cutting those flowers apart individually, but I like the way they did it just for the background. So the next 
card grouping I want to show you is from the free stamp set with a $50 order. I believe it's a $50 order. I may be wrong on that. I will double check for you. Is the Rise and Shine. And this Rise and Shine matches the Cup of Cheers dies. Um, you can um, locate that um, in my stamping um, store. It was a die that was released at Christmas time, but now we have different mugs and different sayings. So it kind of gives a springy look rather than a wintry look um, to our mugs. Here's another great card done with the pool parties, pinks and reds. Um, love that. Here is a bright colors with the designer series paper. This bold um, designer series paper, don't remember which paper stack that's out of, or a designer series papers uh, bundle, but love the colors in that. Make today amazing. Here's another one in the browns and reds. Also use that foil paper that we talked about earlier. Again, that foil paper is for $50. Here is pretty one. Oh, I love that uh, designer series paper in the background. And look how they took um, the mug and used the so very vellum. That is a free item that we'll talk about here in a minute. Love the combination with that. And here is that um, foil paper again as a background and use the, our foil ribbon um, to match that. So kind of a fun um, set. This um, stamp set, um, again, it's called Rise and Shine. I will put the code numbers at the bottom um, of this video for each of the products. Also, if you head over to my blog, stampingwithlinda.com, I'll have the link for the whole um, brochure. So, very fun. The next thing we're going to work with or talk about is the So Very Vanilla Specialty Designer Series paper. Again, this is a paper that you can earn free, and it's kind of cool because the vellum is embossed, so kind of giving it a different look. Love whoever did this one. They used um, the coordinating um, coordination product that was released um, last month um, to match with our punches. She used a vat with this card, so fun look there. Here is that vellum also being used uh, with the flowering foil specialty paper. Love the thanks and the silver just makes it really pop. Here's a cute idea. I shared a video about how to uh, put your verse over top to hide the adhesive from your vellum. I believe I did that last Friday. So it's cool they just use squares of that vellum and then put their verse over top. So fun look there. Here's the vellum again using um, that flowering foil specialty. So lots of fun there. Next one we're going to look at as a masculine set. This masculine set is called Well Dressed and it's a set of eight cling stamps and it just has masculine um, items and um, sayings. So kind of cool. I think masculine cards are hard to do so love that we have um, that set to work with. Here it is again. Um, love that they just took those images, used a background stamp and uh, just an embossing folder to create that. Pretty with the um, plaids and the green. Um, again, just using pieces uh, from that stamp set. There are no dies with that stamp set, but love how she layered uh, with the square and rectangled stitch shapes. Here it is just with the tie um, in that background paper, designer series paper, fun card. Again, just taking those images and pulling in that designer series paper with that stamp set. Definitely a fun look. Here's just yet another one, not with dies, but just with square pieces of cardstock. And here they chose not to highlight the individual items, but just the saying. Again, fun look, 
fun. That's the folder and the paper that is in the mini catalog. So lots of fun stuff going on here. This card is just so clever. I believe this one was done with by Laura Barto. Um, love the way she uh, did the suit um, on that card and then put the verse inside. Very clever using that new masculine stamp set and it's called Well Dressed. Again, if you're watching at the bottom of this video, I will be showing um, the item numbers, or if you head over to my blog, stampingwithlinda.com, I'll have the link to the second release celebration flyer. And also at the end of the video, I will give credit to all the demonstrators that took part in this swap. Now this swap um, stack of cards is using the tags in bloom. This is a larger stamp set um, that's available um, and it matches, there's 19 stamps in this set so it is a bigger set and it matches our um, two stamps are two punches that are in the mini catalog. The label me fancy punch and the label me lovely punch. Um, this is a two-step stamp set, so there is a solid stamp so that you can color um, in the little frame of flowers around, and then also the punch uh, matches that. Um, the card that I did, and I think I'm going to be sharing it later, is this card, and I stamped the image out and then layered on the paper behind, where the lady that has done this card stamped the stamp and then layered the punch image on top. So just a definitely different look. Here is the image again. Looks like they uh, fussy cut that. Um, they're using that foil, um, flowering foil, again a specialty item. Uh, design a series paper that you can get free in this second release and she um, colored that in probably with a brayer it looks nice and smooth here's that same paper but not colored in and use it at the side love the way she used the embossing with that look at how pretty this one is with the pink and the silver just love that definitely an elegant look that has been embossed with the silver layered with the silver um, and then it uses the specialty um, paper in the mini catalog. This is the one paper, can't think of the name of it right now, it's with the Eiffel Tower. And here, last but not least, is another one with a Tags and Bloom um, stamp set, and she used another celebration, which is the Lily um, Pad Designer Series paper for the background. So there you have it, a fun collection of cards done with the upcoming second release celebration of stamp sets and paper. I can't suggest enough for you to start making your wish list now because we know this um, product will only be available while supplies last. So again, you can start ordering at 5 a.m. tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time, and make sure you take a check um, on the credits at the end of this video as I list every demonstrator's name that participated in this swap. Thanks for your creativity. Thanks for allowing me to share that creativity, and I hope it's inspired you to go out and take advantage of that second release celebration. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.